It's another Thursday. Your friend, Paul Adelaide. Genesis 1, 28. Part of it. The Bible says, Then God blessed them. I decree the physical manifestations of the blessings of God upon your life. Any cause or dark shadow around us is turned into a blessing. Could you declare, I am blessed and not cursed. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. This Thursday, we'll be discussing Greater Works Part 3. Greater Works Part 3. Taken from Job chapter 32, verse 8, NLT. Job 32, verse 8, NLT. Listen to what the Bible says. Well, there's a spirit within people, the breath of the Almighty within them, that makes them intelligent. Now, if you have been following the series I've been doing, I've been talking about Greater Works Part 1, Part 2. This is Part 3. In the past week, I spoke to you about doing Greater Works in line with John 14, 12, when Jesus said, greater works than this will we do. I spoke about greater works than this in the field of construction or engineering. I, I said that Jesus walked on water, but now we have people who have been inspired to do more than walking on water, constructing foot tunnel or train tunnels or road tunnels under water. I said that is so innovative and powerful and as, as christians we should be innovative listen to what pharaoh said to joseph in genesis 41 38 genesis 41 38 so pharaoh asked his officials can we find anyone else like this man so obviously they feel with the spirit of god you see this was because joseph filled with the spirit of god was able not only to interpret the dream but to provide solution okay to the nation to the government so as christians we are empowered by the spirit of god to solve problems creative thinking innovation creativity that is the mark of a christian because we have the spirit of god in us our god is a christian uh, is a creature that's the first thing number two when jesus was physically on earth he healed a lot of people the disciples did too we saw peter who the Bible said his shadow was healing the sick in Acts 5 15 to 16. Acts 5 15 to 16. We also saw the great apostle Paul, the handkerchief from his body, was performing miracles. Act 19 11 to 12. Act 19 11 to 12. The Bible says he did unusual miracles, performed unusual miracles. God desires us to do greater works than this in the medical field. If you are a Christian doctor, you are challenged to be innovative, to be creative, to do things in the medical field that will heal a lot of people. Do you know that through inspiration in medicine, in the medical field, God has been healing or delivering a lot of people? I was looking at a story of smallpox when it started, you know, and how... A lot of people were killed, but in 1796, 1796, a man called Edward Jenner was inspired to introduce the first smallpox vaccine that healed or prevented a lot of people from dying. That's what we are talking of. Innovation, critical thinking, sitting down and engaging the Spirit of God to bring ideas and things that will solve problems in our world. That is Christianity. We make the world a better place for people to live and we take them to heaven with us. That is why Jesus came. Before I go, the moment you confess Jesus, that Spirit of Christ comes into you and you begin to think creatively in Jesus' name. Confess Jesus today. Let's pray. My Heavenly Father, I am tired of a mediocre life of Christianity. Use me these last days to gloriously impact my world in Jesus' name. God bless you. Jesus loves you.